I found great resources for this activity in the Forest School Adventure, Outdoor Skills and Play for Children by Naomi Walmsley and Dan Westall. Uh, that has a wonderful resource guide for all kinds of outdoor activities. But let's go ahead and get started with our leaf printing. Hi friends, Jojo here from Nature Teach. Happy, 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 happy Earth Day. So cool. All right, today we're gonna be doing a really fun art project. Instead of yoga, we're doing art and it's in celebration of Earth Day and it's super fun. And it's a great way for us to go out and explore our yards and our natural world. There are so many different kinds of plants and living beings around us and this is a really great opportunity to play with that. So we're gonna go out and try to find different kinds of leaves and flowers, things that hold a lot of moisture so that we can print it on a piece of cloth. This is what it looks like. And in a second, I will show you all the things that you're gonna need and how to do it and we're gonna do it together or you can watch it and do it later with a friend or a family member. You just wanna make sure we are using tools like a hammer or a mallet or a big rock of some sort. We just wanna make sure that we are with people that um, can help us use those safely, okay? And that we don't smash our fingers because that's really the only hazard of this. Also, I guess there are two hazards. We wanna make sure that we are picking the right plants and we're not picking any poisonous plants. So it's good to have an adult with you who can tell you which plants might be poisonous and which plants might be the safe ones to use. There are only a few poisonous ones out there. If, um, if at all, try to learn those ones in your yard so that you know which ones to stay away from and then you know all the rest are safe. Okay, so the thing that you're gonna wanna do is get a basket or a bowl or something like a bag to carry all of your ingredients in that you're gonna use to make your art printing. So I like to use a basket um, and then I went out in my yard and I picked all kinds of different leaves and I tried various different types. I found that the ones that um, were a little bit thinner that carried a lot of moisture that you could kind of tell that there was moisture inside that weren't super thick and, and leathery feeling were the best ones to use. Um, but I would ex encourage you to go out and explore and try many different types and see what works best for you. Um, and then you just want to have some fun with it. So you want different shapes, maybe the rounded leaves, maybe the pointy leaves, maybe the serrated ones that look like jaggedy teeth, like the dandelion leaf has jaggedy teeth and that's why we call it the dandelion because the leaves look like lion teeth. And then, um, yeah, or ones that look like your palm or have different kinds of patterns. So experiment, find ones in your yard that look cool to you and that you want to put on your cloth and then meet me back here and we will do the fun art project together. Okay, friends, here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a cloth of some sort. I used an old t-shirt and cut it up. You will need a hard surface to um, pound your leaves on. I used wood here. You can also use stone or you can use some kind of other wood object. You'll need your hammer or your mallet um, and a pair of scissors to cut up your cloth. That's kind of it. And of course your um, leaves and flowers that you've collected. Once you have all that, you're gonna put um, your arrange, you're gonna arrange your flowers or your leaves in some sort of a pattern that fits your piece of cloth that you've cut. Um, I would encourage you to play around with um, the rib side up or down and see which works best for you. Then you will place um, all of your leaves or flowers between your board and your cloth. So your cloth is going to sit on top and then you'll hammer on top of your cloth right where your, you placed your leaves and your flowers. You can kind of see as they emerge as you start to pound them down. It works today because it's a super rainy day, so um, they carry a lot of moisture, sometimes a little bit too much, I think, um, but that's fun to play with. Um, I'd like to see how it would happen on a drier day. And then um, you can do a few of these, see what works best for you. As you can see, my board's kind of moving around a bit. You want to make sure that when you're doing this, you know, your hands are far enough away from your hammer and that um, whatever you're pounding on that surface is um, steady. So you can use your foot to steady it or something like that. And when you're done, you just sort of peel off your leaves and flowers and let it dry out. Um, here's my last one here. I used a different, some yarrow in there, some clover, some different leaves that I found all through my yard, the dandelion leaf up there at the top and rearranged there. Sometimes they pop out the bottom and you'll just have to poke them back in a little bit because they move around as you um, hammer it down because my surface moves around a tiny bit. Maybe if you had one that was more steady, they wouldn't move around as much, but have fun with that. And when you're done, you just lay them out to dry and you've got a really cool design and you can just be proud of yourself from what you created. 
Hey friends, thank you so much for joining me, Jojo from Nature Teach, for this fun art activity. I hope you had a ton of fun, and I hope you can share this with your friends and your family members, and you can do this again. I would encourage you to go back out in the summer, the fall, and the winter, and try this again, and see what kind of leaves are out there for you then, and how easy that might be, um, or how difficult. Who knows? how the moisture might change in the leaves over time um, throughout the different seasons, and then explore what's blooming. What kinds of leaves are out in the summer? What kinds of leaves did you see in the spring that might not be there in the summer or in the fall or the winter? And then um, maybe you can make your own seasonal calendar out of your cloth. So you can use your spring one, save it, do one in summer, uh, the fall and the winter and then you can hang them up and make a really cool little seasonal calendar of the things that you find in your yard. So that's just one idea. You can come up with your own ideas I'm sure. You can make flags, you can make whatever you want, you can give us gifts, you can wrap things in them. The possibilities are endless. Just have fun with it. I hope you can go out and explore. It's kind of rainy today and Earth Day so but it's also pretty warm. So it's nice to get out and um, we get that little bit of moisture, which is awesome because the spring needs that and all of these plants that you're using for your rubbing, for your um, printing need that moisture. So it's really a wonderful gift when we get it in the springtime. All right. Have a beautiful, beautiful Earth Day and I'll see you again really soon.